successful, you gotta get what you want out of it. All right? Let's go. Good. Nice and tight. Jump it up. There we go. Gotta get that stamina going. So Ashtanga Yoga is um, it's a traditional style that comes from India and in Mysore, India. It's a set series of postures, so you always start with, um, there's always an opening mantra, and then there's the standing sequence, and then there's the seated sequence. Four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We do a lot of extra stuff people don't do. We do stretching, we do high altitude training, we do speed training. Well, I work with one client at a time, and if I can reach one client, reach another client, that's how I've done my job. So in order to be successful, you got to get what you want out of it, all right? Once I started here, you know, Mahmood, he's a high energy guy. He, he doesn't want to hear that you can't do something. All right? What's on your mind? Nothing? Clear? So a lot of the thing I try to motivate them is that I set goals with them and we'll reach our goals. I said, listen, this is what we got to do. And I said short goals. I don't set long goals. Like, like I said, listen, let's do four weeks. I don't do anything to motivate my students. I do, but to stick with it and stay with it long enough, it's, it's somebody has to be ready. It's kind of like making this unconscious decision to make a real change in your life and to make a lifestyle practice, because Ashtanga Yoga is certainly a lifestyle. When I started doing yoga, I, I felt like there was a spiritual void that was kind of being fulfilled that I never, ever had been before. I started at three and played Little League, went to high school, and before my junior year, I was being looked at by University of Central Florida, University of Florida, you know, a few big schools. Baseball is a crazy game, but it's really easy. You catch the ball, you hit the ball, and I guess you run, right? And then I had a tragic accident in a baseball game. A uh, outfielder ran into my leg and broke it in half. And it just, it, it hurt inside for a while, you know, you just don't, you can't go out there and play. I couldn't play for six months. Five, six, Coming here seven, with Mahmood, he's eight, really helped me nine, get through a lot of ten, that. He's helped seven, me get through the mental aspect of it. All the way across, come on. Up. If you're not willing to reject and fail, you can't succeed. I don't care, play sports, school, life, uh, uh, relationship. If you're not going through those hardships, understand it then you don't gonna understand it. There's no such thing, come up to the plate one time and hit a home run, that's it. Well, I've always been told my whole life, you know, you have it, you have it, you just gotta use it. And I guess now I'm finally realizing to use it. I think the practice in general helps you cultivate patience. So, doing that, Every day on the mat helps you bring that off of the mat. It's, it's so much more than just a physical workout. That is one of the benefits of it. You can get fit, you can get in shape, you can get flexible, you can get agile, you can create balance, you can have all those things. But those are just some of the things that you can have. Diet is a very tricky subject um, for yogis in general. It's, it's not so much as strict, it's a lifestyle, and I don't call it diet, I call it nutrition plan. My personal perspective is that you eat clean, you eat healthy, and you eat fresh, organic if possible. I give my nutrition to start, and I take a couple things away. Like for instance, hey, let's not have dairy product. A clean, balanced diet, eat regular times a day, eat small meals, eat clean food. Mm -hmm. Thinking that, you know, because we do, we have lots of toxins in the body, and we have years of bad habits, maybe bad posture, or bad thoughts, or whatever, and through daily practice, we start to clean all this stuff out, 
And over time, cleaning all this stuff out, you start to treat yourself better and you start to treat the world better and you just start to think better and feel better and choose better foods and all kinds of things. So it's really fascinating to me to watch the process when new students come in the door. They're brand new to yoga and if they stay long enough to let the practice change them, then you get to see this kind of transformation take place. And it's nothing but them becoming more empowered to take better care of themselves. Ten years from now, I'm probably still doing what I'm doing. I'm going to do less hours, hopefully spend a lot of time with my kids, my family, and God willing, I could be um, a good role model and hero for everybody else in this business. I love teaching yoga because it's, um, it's not only gratifying, it's hard work, and it's, um, it's very physical, and it's very mental, and it's very emotional, and I feel like I'm doing something good for this world.